my channel. This is Laura. Today I'm going to share with you how I make a quick version of Tex-Mex chilaquiles and that is just a traditional Tex-Mex breakfast. It involves corn tortillas, a little bit of pico de gallo and a couple of eggs. Real simple recipe. And before we jump into the recipe, if you like the video, don't forget, thumbs up, leave a comment that really helps the channel. And if you are new here, I surely would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell and you will be notified every time I upload a video and you will not miss an episode. Okay guys, let's get started. Guys, the first thing we are gonna do, what I did is I took about six corn tortillas and I just cut them in half and then cut them into thirds. And you get these little triangles, it's real simple. Just make sure they're at room temperature. Okay, if they're at room temperature, they fry up better and faster. I have some vegetable oil here in a skillet. I'm going to wait for this to come up to temperature. You want it at about 350. We will be right back to fry these up. I also have a plate over here with a napkin and a slotted spoon that we're going to use. Okay, our oil is up to temperature. Just take corn tortilla, place it in, and you can see if it's ready. Don't overcrowd the pan. This way they fry up real nice and quick and crispier. They stop bubbling they're pretty much ready all right we're gonna cut the vegetables that we need for our chilaquiles very simple we just need a tomato some onion and a serrano pepper all this you can change if you don't want the spiciness of the serrano pepper put some bell pepper green red orange whatever color you want if you don't like the onion leave it out Tomato, I'm, you know, a lot of people like tomato, so just put the tomato. We're going to probably use, this is a pretty small tomato, so I'm probably going to use it all. And it just depends how much you're going to make. And we're just going to cut it into little cubes. Not too small, so you can still, you know, see it after we fry it up a little bit. Put it on a plate over here and then you cut your onion. Serrano pepper. If you want to scrape the seeds out, scrape the seeds out so it won't be as spicy. Want spicier chilaquiles, add a couple of serrano peppers. Now for the eggs. I have five eggs here. We're going to add some salt. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and some half and half. Just a little bit of cream. If you want to use regular milk, you could. And we're just going to whip them up. Okay, that's it. Back to the stove. All right, back at the stove. We are going to add a little bit of vegetable oil to our skillet. And it's probably a little hot already. I'm going to start with our onion. Add a little bit of salt. It's okay, the little tomato got in there, no big deal. You just want to saute these lightly. When you saute the serrano pepper, I always suggest to do it real quick because it starts to fume and It'll start choking you up. Okay, onion is ready. Put in your serrano pepper and your tomato. Okay, we're going to throw in our tortilla chips back in here. I don't crush them, I just throw them back in. Mix these up. And you want to work fast after this so that your chips can stay a little bit crispy. We're going to throw our egg in there now. Let it set for just a minute. Get some chips over there. And the thing is to the, at this point is you don't want to break everything up. You just kind of want to flip things so that your chips and stuff can stay intact. So you just want to flip them. You see how I'm just flipping it? And it cooks pretty quick. I have the heat medium to high. Okay, 
soon as you see that your egg is about 95%, you turn off the heat and you add your cheese on top. Add whatever cheese you want. If you want cheddar like I'm using here, you can use Monterey Jack, queso fresco, whatever you prefer. And then just cover it and it will melt that cheese and they will be perfection. After having it covered for about three minutes, the cheese should melt. And this is what you get. Yummy, look at that. All right, so that concludes our video. Now we're just gonna give these chilaquiles a taste. As you can see, you can still see the tortillas up on top and the cheese is just melted right on top. That comes just from not stirring the egg after you pour it in. So if you do that, let it sit for just a minute, you will have some crispy corn chips to go with the breakfast. So let's give this a taste. Mm-hmm. Very good. These are very good, guys. I hope you try it. It's a very simple breakfast that you can whip up in no time at all. All you need to do is add a portion of some refried beans if you want, some flour tortillas on the side, and boy, you got yourself a good breakfast. Okay, guys, that's going to conclude the video. Thanks for spending time with me today. I hope you enjoyed the quick recipe. Don't forget, leave a comment, big thumbs up. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.